How to change a Habesit belt on NBS90 SP transfer unit. Listed here are items required. Safety. Always lock out power source and follow recommended safety procedures. Disconnect all electrical connections, solenoid wire, and air tube. Secure the transfer unit with a floor jack. Remove all eight hex nuts and lock washers from the support brackets. Before removing the shims, make sure to note the following. The exact location and order of each shim and how many shims are in that location. This will help maintain the current roller height and level when reinstalling. Slowly lower the floor jack and make sure the transfer unit is clear from the hanging cords. Move transfer unit to a workbench. Remove the end guard. Cut and remove the zip tie. Loosen the hex bolts on the take up plate. Loosen the take up bolt. Remove the rollers by pulling the axle. Remove the two plastic washers on the end of each roller, opposite side of the belt. Remove the hex bolts on the take-up plate. Cut and remove the zip tie on the motor power cord. Remove motor and the used Habesit belt. Loosen the motor mount support bracket. Replace the Habesit belt. Lace the belt under the bottom idler wheels. Pull belt straight up to estimate the center of the belt. Then pull center of the belt down between fingers to form a loop. Lace the belt loop under the motor pulley and place the motor on the motor support bracket. Reinstall the hex bolts on the take up plate and tighten hex bolts with fingers. Reinstall the end roller through the belt and place roller axle in the hex hole. On the opposite end of the roller, reinstall the two plastic washers and push in the axle to reinstall the roller. Loop the belt under the top idler wheel. Repeat the process for each roller.
tension the belt by tightening the lock nut on the take-up screw. Tighten two hex bolts adjacent from each other on the take-up plate. Use a sonic tension tester to measure the tension of the Habesit belt. Enter in the belt tension factors. Span 132 millimeters, width 25.4 millimeters, weight 1.2 grams per meter. Tension frequency range equals 161 plus or minus 5 hertz. Hold the microphone approximately one inch above the belt. Using your finger, flick the belt so it makes a vibration. The sonic tester will measure the vibration and give you a reading. Spin the belt and repeat test at least three times to get an overall reading. Tension frequency range should be 161 plus or minus 5 hertz. If not, repeat tension process. When the test is correct, tighten all the take-up hex bolts. Tighten the lock nut on the take-up screw. Adjust the motor support bracket by lifting the bracket up to touch the motor and then tighten the nuts and screws. Replace the zip tie to the motor power cord. Reinstall the end guard. Move transfer unit to a floor jack to reinstall. Move all the hanging cords out of the way to avoid damage. Reinstall the eight hex screws and lock washers to the mount brackets. Tighten with fingers. Place the shims back in their original location to maintain the roller's original height and level. Otherwise, you might have to make some height corrections. Fully tighten the eight hex screws and lock washers. Remove the floor jack. Reconnect the air tube, solenoid, and electrical. Zip tie the hanging cords. For more MHS conveyor videos, visit mhs-conveyor.com.